Maine has a lot of iconic associations. Lobster, blueberries, lighthouses, and leisure. But that doesn't paint the full picture. 1.3 million people call this state home. Entrepreneurs, educators, creators, investors. They make their living here in towns and cities and unincorporated territories, from the rocky coast and sandy beaches to beautiful mountains and pine forests. Maine is where people come to have it all. World-class companies, work-life balance. This is where we live. This is where we work. This is Maine. Hi everyone, I'm your host Erno Valley, and this is my buddy Baxter. Each week we will travel to new places around Maine and introduce you to people living their best Maine life. Millions of people travel to our state each year, but we are some of the lucky ones that get to call Maine home. But so can you. Stick around to see how. Portland Harbor Hotel is, has a unique advantage. It's located in one of the best spots in Portland. We're walking distance to everything, and that's one of the things that draws all of our returning guests to us. And we're an independent hotel. We're a true boutique. The most recent assignment, I was in Montreal, Canada, and um, my wife Annie and I decided we wanted to get back into the U.S. Being in the hotel business, I thought I would be moving again at some point into a different destination, but the more we stayed, the more we fell in love, and the more we said, we just can't see ourselves going anywhere else. You know, we found Maine was a very comfortable life. The, the, the first and foremost for us is the quality of life. Portland has so many things to do that I feel it caters to anybody and everybody. If you like uh, the, the food scene, there's great restaurants. If you like outdoor activities, there's so many fairs and events that you can go. You have the islands that you can go to. So if you like the water, uh, you can easily spend time on the water without even having to buy a boat. So there's so many events that people can do that uh, it's, you really won't have to go anywhere else to do it. And that's what attracted us first to Portland is the variety of things that we could do. And welcome to the heart of Portland here walking down 4th Street in the Old Port. And as Gerard mentioned, there are some great restaurants, boutiques, music and art all at your fingertips. Uh, welcome to Joseph's. We are an Old Port staple. Opened originally in 1974, so we've been here about 45 years. Uh, very different town than it was. Uh, we've always been happy to be on the forefront of high-end men's fashion in town. Got a lot of great brands, Italian, American. Uh, we've got suits. We also have great casual wear. We're located at 410 4 Street, within walking distance of pretty much everything in the Old Port. Many hotels, bars, restaurants, anything else you might want. Spitting distance of the waterfront. You wanna buy a new jacket and then go sit on the water and enjoy a lobster roll very easy and quick. <laughs> At first I was nervous and thought, Maine? Um, as soon as I got here, we were driving and I just took a look at the ocean and the surroundings and it was just jaw dropping and I just absolutely loved it. I am an interior designer in Portland uh, and its surroundings. I traveled throughout Cumberland County. We're all thriving, actually. All the designers are thriving, so we're, we're really loving it. So a few years ago, we uh, had an idea, one of our owners had an idea to build an inn on, a, on an island here right off the coast of Maine. It's a 40-minute ferry ride. It's great down an island. So we took an old army barrack, we renovated it, and we brought it back to a small 44-room inn. It's a beautiful location. It's serene. There's no cars on the island. The only way in and out by boat. There's a, we own a restaurant on the island as well called Amazed Restaurant and Marina. Anybody that finds it and stays there, just fall in love with it and want to come back every year. Our guests here as well as at the end can enjoy both sides of the, uh, the pond as we call it. When you're staying with us, you can enjoy uh, your meals at Bluefin North Atlantic Seafood, is our restaurant here at the hotel. And we provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Our breakfast is very popular locally, not just by hotel guests. We do have an outdoor patio. It's beautiful in season. Uh, it's a hidden gem. It's a garden with greenery around it, very quiet. Tonight, Aaron, you and Jacques are in for a treat. You're going to have a great dinner here with us. 
and uh, I hear that we're gonna have a little get together around the fireplace uh, in the evening with some friends and I think that's gonna be a great treat. We have some really great cocktails. Our cocktails change uh, very frequently and uh, I think you'll enjoy it very much. Welcome to the Blue Fin Restaurant in the Portland Harbor Hotel here in Portland, Maine. You can expect locally sourced product, fresh from our oceans here in Maine, and locally sourced um, vegetables, any type of produce, meats from the local area. So I'm born and raised in Miami, Florida. My wife is from Maine. We lived here for a small stint of time for about three years and the people and the scenery and the seafood is what drove me back to Portland, Maine. The area has just really created its own buzz and I think the food and beverage industry is really on the rise in Portland and I'm ready for summer and to have all the people come and visit this beautiful area that we live in. So thank you Gerard, Chef, and Caitlin for this wonderful dinner. I'm so excited now to introduce you to my friend Jacques Santucci from Paris. Uh, from, from Paris, Paris France. France. Well, Paris. actually from Toulouse, Toulouse, France. I'm from the southwest of France. And you now live in Falmouth, Maine. I've been living in Falmouth, Maine, in, or in Maine for the past 20 years. It'll be 20 years this summer. So you dine here, obviously you know yes. Gerard. Absolutely. Have you had the scallops before? I had the scallops before, it's a wonderful establishment. And the oysters. Oysters are wonderful. I mean, Maine is known for the oysters. From literally two blocks away it was yes. uh, Commercial Street and Casco Bay. Yes. We had no intention of moving to Maine. And one day I get that phone call of a, uh, uh, a headhunter looking for an executive to come work in Maine for a company, a French company, bought a company in Maine. For the past uh, year, a couple of years, we've been focusing on software and technology and, and creating a, a, a technology company in Maine related to the cannabis industry and creating opportunities you know, for, on the global market. It's been very, a hot market. It's a hot market, <laughs> technology, cannabis, it's very hot and it's been a very exciting and, and very proud to be able to do something like this in Maine. And we have a lot of talent here in Maine and, and uh, both on the sales side and on the technology side and it's been good. Well, we are happy to have you, my friend. Thank you. Let's have an oyster right here out of Casco Bay. And Thank you. And toast to you. Patricia Thank you. And the Thanks family. for having me. This is Maine. <laughs> this is Maine. I'm from Massachusetts. Uh, this is my first time here in Portland. I'm having a great time. The people are so friendly and I cannot wait to come back. I couldn't have done that without alcohol. <laughs> so Aaron, great seeing you again. Thank yes. you for coming and staying with the Portland Harbor Hotel and we hope you enjoyed your stay with us. Tim and I had a great time. Tim, full. Belly's full. <laughs> full and happy. Thank you. Great. Well, thank you. And uh, Portland Harbor Hotel, downtown Portland. We'll hope to see you here very soon. Out on the patio. Summertime. Being a Wexer to me means working with an amazing, talented group of people. We work hard. We share the same passion. We have amazing curiosity. And we're trying to strive to get better results every day together. We have great friendships, we work hard, we have fun, and frankly, we laugh a lot. Hey there, I'm David from David's Restaurant. I'm the chef and owner. I'm here in David's Monument Square. It's my restaurant right in Portland. Uh, I also have David's Opus 10, also right here in Monument Square. It's our little specialty restaurant where we do specialty wine here and dinners. And my neighborhood restaurant over in South Portland, David's 3D. Come on in sometime this summer. We're open here for lunch and dinner. Opus just dinner. David's 388. Uh, brunch on Saturdays and Sundays and dinner seven nights a week. Come on in. Enjoy the experience. My boots and briefcase are waiting at the door. Hi, I'm Amanda Rand, President and CEO of Spinnaker Trust. The overriding culture here at Spinnaker is one of our clients first. What sets Spinnaker apart is the team, the diverse set of backgrounds that that team comes from in finance, in banking, in tax, in the law, just to name a few. You know, as I look around at competitors, both locally and nationally, I think that really sets us apart. You know, Maine is home. I grew up in Maine. 
My husband and I are high school sweethearts. We live in our hometown. We feel so lucky to be able to raise our kids here in our hometown and, and for me to be able to do what I love at such a high level. I don't sacrifice anything on the professional front and get to do that right in my backyard. That's pretty tremendous. Only one hour north of Portland, a beautiful destination awaits you. At Booth Bay Harbor Oceanside Golf Resort, we specialize in unforgettable coastal vacations. Venture out on one of our luxury boat excursions, or simply relax oceanside. Your stay includes two free rounds of golf at world-renowned Booth Bay Harbor Country Club. Stay and play at Maine's premier Oceanside Resort. Welcome to Bailey's Lobster Pound in the Bait Shed Restaurant. Uh, we are a 105-year-old family business in the coast of Maine. We have been doing lobster rolls, lobster dinners, steamers, all local products um, right here from the marsh behind you. And we have oyster farms in the Scarborough Marsh. We have steamers dug right here, and you can come out to our dock and have all of these things served to you. I'm fourth generation in this business and my great-grandfather started it in 1915. I love Maine. Um, as I said, I'm the fourth generation on this piece of property and I would never leave. I think it is the, the perfect pace of life for a lot of people and it's, it's not hurried, it's relaxed. Everything that happens here in our restaurant reflects that. Everybody is welcome if they walked right off the beach with sandy feet or if they want to get dressed up and have a dinner out. They can bring their dogs here, they can just relax and have a great time and that just reflects the feeling in the state of Maine in general. So when we talk about the quality of life here uh, and the work-life balance in Maine, this is pretty much like what we're talking about. I don't think it gets better than this. <laughs> we really actually, doesn't. I mean, I've been to Pine Point Beach many times, but I didn't, we didn't know about this little town. No. So now you all do us. too. And this is my friend. You get to experience this every day on your job here. I do. It's amazing. It's a beautiful little community with new and old homes, new and old people coming in um, every day and it's just a, it's a wonderful, wonderful place to, to be in the summertime. So tell us about your clients, cute story. Um, my clients actually met at Deering High School in Portland, Maine and they took an old house and are renovating it and that's what you're going to see today. <laughs> and it's, it's been it's, fun. It's been an absolute dream. Um, just seeing the transition from the old to the new is just amazing and, and I'm so glad you're getting to see it. Yes, we're so excited. So we're going to, um, this is by the way, just like the half version, I guess, <laughs> this lobster roll. Um, it's pretty amazing. So we're going to dig in and uh, head that way. Hey Mike, how are you? Oh, nice seeing you. Erin O'Valley, Mike Richmond. We'll hug you know, next time. Ar <laughs> the architect on the job. Um, brainchild for this absolutely gorgeous design that he created for our homeowners. Not a bad office, right? <laughs> to come to every day? It's been nice. I agree. So we saw the before pictures. Wow. Tell us about your inspiration in the drawings and how you came up with this beautiful concept. Uh, the inspiration actually was pretty simple. Uh, these are folks who uh, have roots here, moved away for many years, and are coming back. And they basically said, please give us something that's pleasing to the eye, mm -hmm. um, but more importantly, fits our big family. And with Annie's magic inside, it's, it's come out pretty nice. Lots of natural light, I bet, in there with those windows. Oh, it's yeah. just gorgeous. And it's an elevator, gorgeous. did I hear? Yes, there is an out. elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, thank right, you. So when do we get to move in? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you and I, anytime. Oh, wow. So we are now in the house of front entrance, uh, you are actually standing right in the dining room area. We've got a living room, one of three kitchens that we have in this house. One of gonna, three kitchens. One of three kitchens. Really? A couple of bedrooms on this floor and out back there is an actual elevator going to two other floors. So here's the elevator. Secret. Oh, sorry about that. Got to unlock it. But this is our little secret gem here. Look at that. <laughs> Come on in, Aaron. Hey guys! So we are now on the third floor of this absolutely spectacular home. Um, you feel like you're in a ship. It's absolutely spectacular, isn't it? So um, pretty. And then you've got your gorgeous master bathroom here. Hopefully the homeowners will love it. Well I love it, so <laughs> maybe I, I can be too. friends with them. And 
They can invite us over. <laughs> I've, already I've already invited myself over. Okay, good. <laughs> it's well. been really great. Bye from Pine Point Beach in Scarborough. Thanks for joining us. Woo! Here at Certify Inc., I'm a business development rep. We're definitely kind of a work hard, play hard environment. Volunteering, happy hours, all sorts of different events. Um, there's a really good work-life balance and I really enjoy that. So it's really the best of both worlds. We're 30 minutes from Portland, but we have six acres in Brunswick. Um, we spend a lot of time gardening, snowshoeing in the winter around the property. Um, we have chickens and we spend a lot of time in Brunswick as well. We go to the farmer's market and there's a lot of really great restaurants and businesses downtown. Certify is based here in Portland, Maine. We have a lot of opportunities and a lot of fun, so check us out. in the air and that means shopping at Freeport Village Station. Free and easy parking, brands you know and love. Get your flip-flops at Famous Footwear and your running shoes at Nike. There is something here for everyone. Get your coupons now and save at onefreeportvillagestation.com. Happy shopping and happy spring. Uh, this time of year is local season and we just want everyone um, that is around here locally to come in and enjoy the, the time that you have free reign of DeMillo's without any tours to bump into um, and enjoy the scenic view that we have, especially on snow days. When we have blizzards out, this is the best bar to sit at and watch the snowfall, see the boats, the ferries coming in and out, it's perfect. Everybody and welcome back. If you are planning a trip to Maine and you want a customized, authentic trip, call Vanessa Santarelli, your Maine concierge. Grab a piece of paper and pen for this week's Maine road trip. I always knew I wanted to be in New England, and once I started coming to Portland, I just I couldn't stop coming back. I, I got to the point where I was coming here every single month. I just I decided to pull the trigger, and I found this space, and the rest is history, as they say. Uh, the building was originally built as the Lafayette Arms Hotel in 1903, which was when Teddy Roosevelt was actively our president. I kind of like to think we turned it back into, you know, the grand, you know, upscale space that the public can actually use now, like it was uh, originally designed in 1903. I want to build Sagamore Hill today. So if Teddy Roosevelt built his home, Sagamore Hill, which is in uh, Oyster Bay, Long Island, Today, what would it look like if it were a bar? And it had to be modeled after the North Room in, in Sagamore Hill. So you'll notice liberal uses of walnut, and it's because that room was covered floor to ceiling in walnut. There was taxidermy all throughout the space, so you'll notice vintage taxidermy everywhere here. And er er everything is paying tribute to the North Room in Sagamore Hill. Teddy Roosevelt had a great history here in Maine. He suffered from de depression and Maine sort of became his Prozac. When this was a hotel, his niece, Eleanor Roosevelt, actually stayed here. So there were, there were all, these, all these connections to not only Portland, but to Maine. And you know, I, just, I decided to run with it. You'll see a lot of people just relaxing and settling in on a very cold night to have, to have some good drinks. It's, it's not uncommon for large groups to come in and grab one of the banquettes and sit for you know, hours on end. So I, I think you'll see it, you know, it's just a really cozy, relaxed atmosphere. Can I get the first lady? Absolutely. <laughs> a warm and elegant cocktail with an effervescent finish. Erin's the first lady of Maine life. <laughs> Ryan, thank you so much for having us from Philly to Portland. We are so happy you're here. Absolutely. For a very warm and elegant atmosphere with great craft cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. Back to to Sagamore Sagamore Hill. Hill. Yeah, congratulations. So if you're a Mainer or planning a trip to our beautiful state and want your own personalized itinerary, visit my website or give me a call.
After graduating, uh, I was encouraged to leave the state to find a job opportunity. And so, taking the advice of my mentors, I did that. Um, as soon as I left the state, I ended up in Cincinnati, Ohio. I had a great uh, job. Uh, I loved the employer I worked for. I learned a lot, uh, but it was not home. And as soon as my now wife and I uh, got there, we started looking for a way to come back. And so we rushed back to Maine uh, because we missed the quality of life, we missed our family, uh, and we missed the opportunities that existed here. It's a, it's a state of a lot of big, small towns. And so that quality of life is really important. My name is Nate Wilds, Executive Director of Live and Work in Maine. Please visit our website, liveandworkinmaine.com, to learn more about our initiative to raise awareness about Maine as a career destination. Mountainside Real Estate is the official agency of Sugarloaf. We have an office with four full-time agents. Sugarloaf has a great wide variety of properties, from studios to condos to single-family homes. There's just something for everyone. We have golf, we've got skiing, we've got incredible mountain biking. There's a huge variety of stuff to do up here. Our office is open 362 days a year. We're in a great location just across from delis on Main Street uh, in Sugarloaf. The perfect Maine retreat awaits you in beautiful Booth Bay Harbor at one of our classic and charming seaside resorts. For the laid back traveler, consider New Wagon Seaside Inn your home away from home and relax in one of our coastal casual guest rooms. For the adventurous, stay at Linnigan Bay Resort featuring family camp style cabins and lodges and a host of water related activities. Hop on a classic cruiser bicycle, experience a traditional Maine lobster bait, gather fireside or sail, paddle, and motor around Linnican Bay. Make this summer one to remember and book your next Maine adventure with us. So location, location. As your art mentioned, the Portland Harbor Hotel is on the corner of 4th Street and Union. There are so many amazing restaurants, I wish we had more time, but for now, we're going to introduce you to two staples in town, one block to my right is Three Dollar Dewey's and two and a half blocks to my left in Monument Square is David's. You know, the location is wonderful, obviously. The vibrant commercial street, working waterfront. You know, Portland, Maine is a beautiful place. And an iconic brand, you know, where we all came when we were younger. So many people say how they met their wife here or they met their husband here. Or, I, I met someone that said they have a kid named Dewey. The biggest thing was to keep the Dewey's vibe that everybody loved for 40 years. And we still have the popcorn. Uh, the popcorn is very important to everybody. Uh, we have really nice food and it's still pub and it's still laid back and it's still fun. It's a level up certainly from where it ever was and I think fits really well with the work and waterfront of Portland here. It's vacation. I mean, everybody knows it's gonna be crazy down here on Commercial Street, so we're really looking forward to that. Uh, there's a lot of folks that work and live around here that are spending a lot of time having fun now. If we combine those two for a great summertime, that's what we're looking for, that's gonna be awesome. Joe, you have made many deals in different businesses. What was different and unique about $3 Dewey's? People's response to it is amazing. I've certainly never had anything like that. The city of Portland's been awesome all the way along. Found a lot of great teammates to get it done. Shout out to Scotty. Scotty the bartender. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's been uh, a lot easier than I thought it would to find great teammates and to work with the city. And the response of the people is just overwhelming. Everybody's excited. Dewey's is the same old great place it was to be. Come on down and have some fun. Let's have some fun on Commercial Street in summer. Hi everybody, we are so excited to bring you to David's Restaurant in Monument Square in downtown Portland with David! Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Love to be here with you. Uh, well, he is very humble. He is the owner and sh chef. Um, and we are so happy to be here. Obviously not my first time, but how do you do it? How many years now? Well, 
since uh, I've been a restaurant owner since 1983. And, That's uh, when I was four. Yeah. Oh, oh, that makes me feel great. <laughs> uh, but in Maine since 1992. And so, you, this guy yeah. knows what he's doing. Yeah, we just, I'm very stubborn. You're good. Well, I just keep going. You've perfected your craft, my friend. Oh, thank you. So we're going to talk a lot today, um, not only about your food and restaurants, but about you. However, Tim and I um, are going to order some food. So, oh, well, uh, oh, so yeah. we've got uh, from oh, yeah. seafood to steak to pizza. I mean, really? So, <laughs> I mean, you guys have been, you know, it's been a busy time. Busy day, hard, yes. So, one of everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna put the order in and talk about your other restaurants in a little bit. Okay. So, my friend, you you're back with the chopsticks. I'm back with the chopsticks. I don't know what happened, but yeah, back with the chopsticks are, are one of our oldest favorite. Most it's our most popular dish. I think is our pepper crust. So good. Sushi ribs and uh, had some some buckwheat soba noodles there. Just delicious with a uh, little spicy. Uh, peanut sesame dressing, and then you've got some duck with with this uh, cherry um, mustarda and some butternut squash um, uh, risotto. Oh, this is oh okay. Yeah, I didn't know what this was exactly, yeah. but yeah, I do like carbs. So I don't know. Who doesn't like carbs? Do you, no. know, do, you, do you know anybody that does any carbs that you trust? Come on, I'm mean, serious. So this is one of three restaurants that you have. Yeah. David's Monument Square. Yeah. And Opus 10. Yeah, so two locations, three restaurants. Because yeah. Opus is a total separate entity. So they all have different personalities. We have the other David 388 in South Portland, yeah. which is also ridiculously cozy and so good. Tell us about Opus 10 here in the back. So Opus 10 is uh, it's a wine pairing uh, oh. tasting menu restaurant. So that's all we do. Very good. It's seasonal. Uh, we only serve four nights a week. So we're open literally for 40 days a year during the season. So you get 10 food items and an optional wine pair. And cool. it's a set menu, so you know, that's what you get. So book your reservations yeah, ahead of time? Yeah, it sells out. So when people walk away from David's restaurant, whether it's David's, Monument Square, Opus 10, or 388, what do you hope they feel? Well, full and happy, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, full and happy. I mean, I, I think a good restaurant experience is defined by, I ate food that I understood that I could enjoy. Um, so for us, that means recognizable food. We're not like into tons of crazy ingredients. Um, it's well prepared, it's honest, like it's real food. Like we, we make everything, you know. It should, you know, hopefully it'll be delicious and the restaurant will be uh, appealing and clean and the service will be friendly and warm. And you know? service. It's kind of old fashioned, right? I have to say, I really <laughs> do, I do really thrive on the people to people connection with diners. And, yes. You know, and it's gotten now to the point where, you know, I know a lot of people in the community. I, I've been here a long time. Give back, yeah. Well, I mean, is... I don't know. The community has given back more than I've given in, for sure. Thank you for watching This Is Maine. To follow our adventures, check out our website, mainlifemedia.com, or my Instagram, at Erno Valley. And if you would like to live the Maine life, find your job at liveandworkinmaine.com. Thanks for watching.